Hi, I'm here with Elaine Webb from the school committee. Elaine, why don't you tell us a little bit about the school committee? Okay, well first, um, people may not know this, but the school committee is something that's structured and mandated by state law, and they require that a school committee or a board of education in some other states oversee education for the town, city, or the regional district. Um, so you would equate um, the pro uh, you would equate this to a board of directors that would work with a CEO if you were thinking about private industry. Great. And who is on the school committee? So the school committee in Reading has six members on it, and all of those members are elected for a three-year term. And the terms, if a term's vacated, uh, the board of selectmen and the school committee can appoint someone for a short period of time, and that then might open up a one-year or two-year term. So sometimes you'll see an election where someone's running for a one-year or two-year okay. term. Um, we There's no term limits, and uh, it is a completely voluntary position. There's no monetary pay, <laughs> there's no in-kind pay, and there's no benefits. And I say that some communities actually do offer some of those to uh, volunteer Oh, very interesting. Well, thank you guys for doing what you do as a volunteer. Um, why do you think that it's important for the community to have a school committee? So I think that uh, school committee, its role is to support something that I think is one of the most valuable things a community does. Educating children and adolescents is, I think, one of the, again, the single most important things of a municipality. And that the quality of the town schools has a direct impact on the community and on the value of the property. And um, our district has a mission, and I think it's really important that the mission is student-focused and student-centered. So I'm going to read it because I don't have it memorized. <laughs> um, Reading Public Schools strives to ensure that all students will have common, challenging, and meaningful experiences in the academics, health, and wellness, the arts, community services, co-curricular activities, and athletics. We will lead and manage our school community to reflect the values and culture of the Reading community and guide and support our students to develop the appropriate skills, strategies, creativity, knowledge necessary to be productive, informed, independent citizens in a global society. So I know it's a mouthful, but it's really important. The mission guides what the school committee does. Fantastic. Um, and um, why, what's um, something that the things that the committees do, do? What are they in charge of doing, taking care of? So there's some really key priorities. So one of the most important things is that um, we assure that we operate the district in the best interests of students, um, student outcomes, and student growth. Uh, we work with the superintendent to develop um, and the district leadership to develop the uh, mission, the vision, uh, and also the goals uh, for the superintendent specifically. We are um, we establish and recommend. Um, and uh, approve the school committee budget to town meeting. Now that is a really, really <laughs> important thing. Um, and there's, uh, there's policies that guide what we do. And one of the things that I think is really important in our goals for fiscal management is the recognition that resource limitations, that we have to try to balance resource limitations, but not let those sub-optimize what we are supposed to achieve for students. So that's the the, definitely the biggest uh, goal and the budget consumes from October to April Wow! Um, so it's a very uh, long period of time and during that time the school committee works with the Board of Selectmen, the FinCom, the superintendent, district leadership, budget parents who volunteer to, to be sort of leaders during the budget season, uh, the community and um, of course town meeting. Um, the committee develops policies so we don't we don't do determine like what curriculum is specifically going to be used. We work with the superintendent, but we really set the policies that guide how all that happens. Okay. Um, and we also we also are the organization that I said um, it's sort of like the board of directors and a CEO. So we provide feedback to the superintendent on um, how he's doing performance wise. So that's one of the important things that we do. Absolutely. 
Um, and how can the public participate and get involved in the school committee? So um, the public can participate. There's lots of electronic ways, but all of our meetings are open to the public. And the way we, we have a, a policy and a, a guideline that helps people if they come to a meeting, they can take a look at that and understand what to expect. But basically at every meeting, uh, there's an opportunity for the public to put, uh, to say uh, and talk about, speak about something that's not on the agenda. And then during the meeting, there would be opportunities to speak um, of items on the agenda. I think also um, the budget parents are a way to directly get involved in something the school committee is responsible for and parents can become town meeting members and that gives them the opportunity to uh, vote on the school budget or anyone can become a town <laughs> meeting member not just uh, school age parents. <laughs> so there's a number of ways to be involved in the school committee and like most other town um, employees and volunteers, we all have a uh, reading.mak12, you know, uh, email address yep. and they can email us. Um, so, you know, there, there's, there's uh, our meetings are very structured. We do a lot at the meetings in terms of sort of re reviewing budgets and uh, we hear presentations. So some of the really great things we get to do on the school committee is that we get to hear presentations from teachers, administrators, students, uh, community members about how they're achieving the district goals and helping students reach the outcomes they want. And that's always um, a really exciting part. The budget is a really very, very difficult part of the job. Absolutely. Um, we also are responsible to negotiate the contract with the, the, the uh, teachers union, uh, similar to how uh, Board of Selectmen Sil works with other unions mm -hmm. in the municipality. So those are, you know, really sort of nuts and bolts. Um, the other really, really exciting thing that a school committee member gets to do is attend graduation and hand out diplomas. Oh, nice. So that's sort of a culminating mm -hmm. um, event as a school committee member is that, you know, after years of sort of working to support the district in a role, in a role as mm -hmm. a school committee member, you get to be at graduation and see these students that have, you know, you've seen come present when they were at Killam or Barrows or Woodend and then Coolidge or Parker and RMHS and then there they are on graduation day and so it's very exciting. Yes, must make you feel proud as a school committee member to, yeah. to see them get that <laughs> diploma. Yep. Um, could you give us that email address one more time just so if anyone does want to email um, the school committee? Yep, so they're everyone's, uh, every school committee member is their first name, last name, just like the teachers. Okay. Um, at Reading.ma, uh, no, uh-oh, <laughs> reading.k12.ma.us, um, and, um, and it's on the Edline page. The fantastic, right, perfect, so, so it's on Edline, Edline um, which they can also get through from the town website, I believe, yes. as well. Yep, it's all, con they're all connected, and, uh, and we, we are going to go forward and make some improvements in those websites. Fantastic. <laughs> so. Web design is something that we're constantly having to update these days. Yeah. Um, anything else you'd like to tell us before we wrap up? Um, I guess I'd just like to say that I think uh, the community, people are probably aware <laughs> we have some really significant challenges ahead of us. This was a very difficult budget to approve for FY17. And we're already at last at Monday school committee meeting. We're already talking about what is it? What will FY18 look like? What do we need to do to get us to 2020 and be in a place where we can be incredibly proud of our school district and know that it's serving the students' needs? So people need to really pay attention. <laughs> That's great. Um, so thank you so much, Elaine, for being here with us tonight. And now we're going to toss it over to Marcel. Great. Thank you. Thank you.